Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I want to talk to you about how to make these shadows on your text, and uh, you can easily animate these shadows and everything like that. So uh, it's a kind of like a retro looking uh, feel here, and um, I talked to you about uh, drop shadows and how not to use them in other in another uh, uh, tutorial I had about rules of typography so this is a way if you really need shadows to get around that because the drop shadow looks like crap and these kind of shadows look cool so we're gonna use the repeater effect um, which is uh, in a different kind of uh, text kind of thing I'll show you it's a different it's made differently but it's simple to do so Let's go on with the tutorial. I'll shut my pie hole now about all this crap and let's start. So I'm gonna delete these out and I've got nothing going on here besides a regular background. So let's create some text. There, new text and shadow mania. Now I'm going to scale this up so we can see it a lot better. And since you're gonna have shadows, you may end up wanting to um, separate these out a little farther. So let's come to our separation. Let's separate these out so they're a little farther apart. So there we go. Because if you have them too close together, the shadows are going to run into each other. It's going to look blotchy and crappy. So we got a uh, shadow here and um, when we have a shadow it's usually going to be darker than our main text so but you can do whatever you want if it looks good use it but uh, make sure your regular text here is a lighter color if you want to follow the norm so let's uh we're going to right click on our text layer and we're going to create shapes from text so we'll do that and now we have a new layer here where we have the shapes created we're going to turn back on our uh, text layer because it got turned off by clicking on this eye button here and put it on top of the shadow outlines here now we're going to twirl this open and we have the add button here we need to use so click on that and we're going to add repeater and it uh, brings up some shadow but doesn't look good right now now the reason why that is is let's turn on open up the repeater twirl it down and uh, we've got copies offset composite and then we've got transform here which we want to open up again and the reason why it looks weird right now is because the position defaults at a hundred and zero so let's put those to one and one again now we don't can't really see what's going on too well because they're the same exact color so if we click on our layer up here and come up to the top there's fill and stroke and all that stuff so let's change the fill color here and I'm gonna bring up my color palette so I can make it look nice Oop. and use my eyedropper tool to bring up something like here's a red and I guess I'll make it a little darker but okay now we have a little bit of a shadow behind there but it's not very long or anything like that but it's still there so if we want to lengthen the shadow all we have to do is come to this copy section and increase it and now there we go we've got a longer shadow now this is animatable so we could have started this at zero and or maybe maybe one probably probably be a little better start our animation here move up uh, like maybe less than a second and then bring it out to our, there like that. So let's make this an easy ease keyframe so it looks nice. There we go. Now our uh, shadows pop out. So you can also move the position of your shadow. So if we start here and then we want to come out a couple keyframes or come out a couple frames 
we can adjust the position here. I put this maybe to negative one. Let's see where that goes. There we go. I'll turn off this. And I should have animated the position while I was doing that. So we've got the length here. So we want to set our position is fine. All right. Let's go one and one again from the beginning position. Come here. This is good. And then let's come out a few more frames and go negative one. Maybe easy ease that. Let's check this out. And we move our shadows around. So that's that's pretty much how you do that. It's fairly simple, and uh, you can use this any way you want. Um, you may want to end up parenting these together because if you try to move this right now, it's not going to stay on. So we want to parent this to our text. So if we move it, now they're together. And I just parented by clicking on this button here and clicking on the uh, name of the text layer, which I named Shadow Mania. And now they stay together. So. Well, thanks for uh, watching the tutorial. Use these uh, shadows to your advantage, especially when you're making some retro stuff. Um, you may want to throw uh, maybe a uh, fit, uh, stroke around the edge of your uh, text. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, that doesn't look good. Don't do that. <laughs> so just keep it like this, and I mean, have a have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching this one. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you hated. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in the future.